It was right before Christmas. We were getting ready to run over to one of our local bakeries, Taylor and I. Jeff was gone at work. Taylor dropped her juice in the back, like I did a hundred times, reached back real quickly to hand her her juice. There was a very large Suburban already there ready to hit us. She basically took the Suburban head on. She was unconscious in the back with her head tilted. They put us in two separate ambulances and I could hear in my ambulance that she had coded. I was afraid I had killed my daughter. It was a lot more severe than what I had imagined. Just begging and pleading, pleading with God to let her live. Fortunately, they were able to stabilize Taylor on her way to the hospital at Loma Linda. She was poorly responsive and intubated. In other words, she was not awake enough to really safely support her own breathing and in critical condition. She had ligaments torn between her uh, upper part of her spine and her skull, uh, and that often is associated with a, a serious brain injury. We certainly knew that we had to fix the injury to her spine with surgery. We had to put Taylor in an induced coma to minimize any chance of her suffering from brain damage, usually the type of accident Taylor sustained the children have a lot of brain damage that they don't recover from or leave our PICU alive from. We never saw any kind of responsiveness after the surgery or after that moment. But for me, ultimately, my biggest fear was she wasn't going to be our same little girl. It wasn't until day nine when Jeff was sitting by her bed. And she popped her eyes open and, you know, of course, just hoping and praying and trying to get a response from her. I said, could you say hi to daddy? And she looked over at me and said, hi daddy. And so I asked her again, you know, I said, can you say it again? And she did it again. And that was the greatest thing in the world. This is your neck, and these are your teeth, and this is the back of your head. Does this little bump hurt? No. No, I don't think so. Good. That's one of your pieces of metal back here. <laughs> it's, it's very rewarding to see somebody like Taylor come through this and see her make this complete recovery is outstanding and very rewarding. She's just amazing. Her recovery has been amazing. Taylor, come down this way. She's always wanting to take care of everybody. and just so doting and loving and friendly towards everyone. The decisions that were made on her behalf by the staff at Loma Linda had a huge, huge part to do in her recovery and her healing. <laughs> she's just, she's a ball of life. Got it. 